week two of the endless buffet of riff salad that is my life, the honorable Judge Kenneth presiding. What's that, your honor? You're calling for order in the court. Speaking of court ordered, these anger management sessions are going really well for me, but they could also benefit you because there's a chance that you could win one of the amazing prizes that have been sent over by Rev Amplification. Remember that the first place winner for the best song as chosen by me is going to win a Rev G20 high gain amp just like this one, and the fan favorite is gonna win not one, but two amazing Rev pedals, my Grandma Glenn's signature Northern Mauler pedal, and the Shantub's signature Tilt Overdrive. We are gonna stack that pedal board up. For more information about that rev gear and how you can enter the contest, get at the links in the description below. But enough yakking, let's get cracking. Matthew Ray, this is my first attempt at recording, mixing, and creating MIDI drum tracks. Hope it doesn't suck too bad. I also hope that Matthew. Brainwashed, Matty Ray. Hi-hat, hi-hat, hi-hat. Where the fuck is the one? We're gonna send out a search party looking for the one. Underwater recorded guitars, okay. Vocals are kinda cool. All kinds of mushy, not just your mix, but musical mush. I like your vocals though. Jason Chris Solus Ipse Bores made this song as a tribute to the siege of Marawai in the Philippines. It was written during the ongoing battle, recorded straight to a low end PC without audio interface. Nevertheless, I'm sending it. You sure are. Blood spilled the land, Solus Ipse. Sounds like a battle so far, so. The guys of light, you will play, run the bar, the land of green. Those are some fast little feats on your little digital drummer there. Pretty good for straight into your PC. Yeah, pretty cool, fun death metal. It had a nice sort of raw sauce to it that I liked, okay. Matthew O'Neill, I'm Matt. I wrote this, I'm working with some chronic health issues, but I think I do okay, hope you enjoy. Aria, original. I like the tiny beats, but 
that, that felt like kind of where it needed to pick up a bit, and, and now, now I'm disinterested. DISINTERESTED! Pretty cool sound, but like, you can't make somebody wait halfway through the song for it to pick up like that. Thomas Bulder, a song that sat in the backlogs for a while, used in an altered arrangement for my junior recital, then finalized for recording. Discusses mental health struggles I was dealing with at the time. Apathy, JB. Sad sound already. General Mitty. Straight sound. It's a great guitar tone. Why do people who write de depressed music want to make everybody else depressed too? Stranded so far in the deep Wishing eternal sleep would come and take me now My woes and my fears and my worries They drag me down Nope Being depressed sucks real bad. I have been there. Music can be a tool for really dealing with a lot of that stuff, but these lyrics just kind of sounded like stream of consciousness, depression, nothingness. When you're depressed, it's supposed to be able to make you write better poetry, not worse. Wahed Luo Chung. Okay, well, you release it on all streaming platforms, so you're disqualified. Josh Gates. This is my original song titled Peace. This song is about overcoming the world's obstacles and strongholds it puts in your life and finding peace through this process. Rock and roll. This is starting to Nice voice. And with all these pointless battles. Picking up halfway through the verse, I like that. Hit me with it. Be a big sexy hook. This can't wait until tomorrow. Die to take to fight the fight. It's not a game. This is your life. Stop the flesh of appetites. Make your peace tonight. See the world with brand new eyes. That was cooking along pretty nicely, and then it just didn't. I was ready for a, for a big energetic chorus, and it just kind of continued sleeping its way along. I mean, it was nice. Production's pretty nice, your voice is nice. You may notice that when I say something is nice, what I mean is that it sounds good, but it's, it's not compelling. This never got to compelling, even in the chorus. Isaac Haney, I want to release an instrumental rock album, and this is the first song I've written for it. Hope you enjoy. Recorded with Logic, I played the bass and guitar and had a friend program the drums. All right, Isaac. Heavy Brother. Somewhere out in the world, there's somebody who uh, shares my genes who refers to me as this when he's talking to his friends. 
I don't even know where to bang my head. Don't put this on your instrumental rock album. Write 10 more and then throw those away and then write enough for an album. This needs a ton of work. This is the first one that you wrote for it? Great, it's a start. It's not very compelling. It's it's not enough to be a, a cool instrumental song on its own. Chris Weir. Hi Trey, here's the latest from my band Zunapalooza. It's about an ancient alien who was up to no good, got busted, and now is trapped in the big metal statue hang on, hanging on the wall in my living room. That's the image in the video. The thing was there when I moved in. The alien speaks to my cats and asks, them to set him free. All right, well, I guess. Ooh. I got work to do, started long ago. Millions brought together to get Caesar his due. Piled into ships, sailed through space and time. Dropped in position ready for the queue. And the cars were cleaved, bathing all the purifying lies. Ashes and memories. The hell of a voice. The track is awesome. Your top line is horny. Actually, the singer kind of sounds like a little bit like Matthew Barlow, but it's not going to save you. Got off to a killer start, a killer start. The track is awesome. If this is you singing, your voice is awesome. The lyrics and the phrasing of them are very corny. That's a huge bummer to me because I really liked what you had going before the vocals came in. And this guy's got a great voice, but you gotta write something much cooler for him to sing. Joe Davidson. I mostly play metal music, but like experimenting with hip hop beats and other sounds to mix with the metal guitar. This one started with a piano line I liked parts of, but meh, other parts. So I Frankensteined the run you hear. Hope you like it. Case, Elements of Illusion. I will say that Frankensteining things together usually results in a subpar uh, result, but not always. Cool sounds so far. Where are we going with this, though? if it's like this cool off kilter weird timing thing or if it's just a disaster it's a very fine line between genius and wonky but i mean we can't be this far into it and not know boy oh boy Great sounds in there. Really didn't feel like it was going anywhere. Had a cool like lo-fi wonkiness to it, but never coalesced into something. It sounded like what you described, a Frankenstein. 
I do these because I genuinely think that writing songs is the most important skill for a musician to have. All the other stuff you gotta be able to do too. You gotta be able to play your instrument and whatever else, but the thing that's actually gonna get butts in seats is great songs, and I passionately believe in this, which is why I created my course, Complete Rock and Metal Songwriting. It's 15 hours of everything that I know about writing songs, and you can get that at the link in the description below. Tamash Nierke. Hi, I'm 18 years old and I just spent the last five playing guitar maniacally. The song can probably be accused of guitar wankery, but as long as some people think the same way about DT Polyphia AAL or any other prog band, well, that's a club I would like to be in. P.S. You did say the quality of the mix was irrelevant, and if I wear you, I wouldn't lie in the presence of the gong. You, you can't lie in front of Kenneth. I know it sucks ass, but I wanted to share it as soon as I saw you doing this thing again. Okay. Epic Clean 3. It's a pretty nice sound right there. Okay. Oh. We're like four different things in so far. And like. Like, where's, where are you going with this? Like, two guitar solos in the first minute ish? Fuck off. This guy read the manual. You can tread pretty good. So far, this is just an excuse for you to rip on the guitar. This is not a song yet. You've put in the work, you're good at your instrument, now study composition. It's a really good place to start from, though. You are much better at the guitar than I was at 18. Brooke Johnson. Hi, Trey. I hope you and Kenny G are well. I presume you're speaking of Kenny. File deleted. Okay, great. Now I wish I was dead. And it's your fault, bro. I hope that you're happy with yourself. Jakub Brodka. Sometimes I get that kind of inspiration when a new gear comes in. It was this time. The song just flow out of my hand like that. P.S. I'm not a professional musician, just a hobbyist and a music lover. That's what the guy who won the first month's contest said, too, so... You never know. Wind. Wind. <laughs> Fucking Google Drive. You're lucky it works. Why do people use Google Drive? Was the new piece of gear a flanger pedal? Maybe a phaser? an MXR Phase 95. We get it, bro. You, you smoke weed. Like, check it out, it's constantly changing as I play. I don't have to do anything. Let's introduce it and then introduce the riff again, and then maybe we can introduce the riff. We gotta make sure that the audience is really ready to hear the next part. We gotta show them what they're gonna hear, and then, then we're gonna play it for them. No, they're not ready yet, keep introducing. <laughs> Introduce the introduction to the introduction of the intro of the the pre-introduction of fucking just do it! Just do the thing! Well, we're waiting. Just play it! This is the ultimate shitty local band move. 
Introduce every riff. Stop, introduce it, introduce, introduce. Just fucking do it! Saul Hernandez, Falling by Destructive Saul. Four fucking times as long as it should have. Come on. That wasn't even like a build. It was just this like static like... God, you're killing me, bro. Owen Packard. Band Standing Dead Center. Song. The Navison Record. All right. That's pretty mean. Oh good, it's a lyric video. Why is it always gonna be a lyric video? Wow, what a bummer. How are you gonna make something this cool and then like, if you never said words before? Hey, have you heard about the gatekeepers? What about the stage preachers? Stooping low, do you know? Wow, what? why 100% of the time? Our lyric videos always for songs that have such stupid fucking lyrics every time! Everything else about this was ultra sick, but I have cringed all the way inside of myself from the, the lyrics and the delivery of them. I can't possibly be the only one! Folks at home, come on, right? That's fucking weird! People don't talk like that! Either rewrite your lyrics or just like say them like a person would. Go through and, and speak them out loud and pay attention to the emphasis of the words, like where you emphasize what syllables. If you can do that, you will crush. Yaku Prishpola. Uh oh, we are bad for Polly call Ignora. Well, I had to fucking dig for it, but uh, you released this on an EP in 2022, so uh, you've been disqualified. Maybe you should read the rules. <laughs> Emilio's Fire. Is that like St. Elmo's Fire? This is a song I began to develop around 2019 after dealing with heavy writer's block for almost a year. I have a course for that. It's called Smashing Writer's Block. So I asked my friends Sebastian Vasquez and Felipe McKenzie for some help. I don't need to hear your fucking light. Okay. We asked our friend Felipe Ibachache, yes, another Felipe, to lay some vocals on top. If you're gonna write me a book, your song better fucking rule. You can write as much or as little as you want, but like, come on. Where'd you get that nice blue RGD? What the hell, man? That's so pretty. Ruin us. It sounds like you're asking me to ruin you. Ruin us. Groovy. Big, big old bass drop. And 
now. Oh, it's in Spanish. Probably. Could have guessed that it might be that of all of your last names. Pretty good. Felt kind of like a monument song with like less compelling vocals, but like pretty good. All right, Gong Gang, that's it for this week. Remember that I do these every Tuesday at 11 a.m. PST right here on the channel. I also do song feedback streams every Friday at 1 p.m. PST right here on the channel and also on twitch.tv slash Trey Xavier Music. Massive thank you to the greatest amp company in the world, Rev Amplification, for sending over this month's prizes. And if you enjoyed this, you're definitely going to want to check out this video right here. And I'll see you next week.